the newspaper, um, we had this story. What we used to do is publish stories from the local press. We would translate it and publish the articles in English. And uh, one local journalist wrote a story about Danzan Ravja. It appeared, appeared in the local Mongolian newspaper, and one of our translators put it into English. And I started reading it, and I was very confused. The language was very confusing, and it was very obscure, and I didn't really make much sense of it. I couldn't understand what the uh, journalist was talking about. Um, very flowery language, um, very poetic sort of journalism. Uh, and I kind of put it aside for a while. It sort of sat on my desk for a few weeks. And uh, finally, when I had some more time, I asked my translator if we could sit down and, and read the article together so I could better understand what it was all about. And uh, she read the article to me again and also gave me some background information on, on Danzan Ravja. And I started to, to learn about this story. And it was just fascinating because I had not heard this story before. And it was uh, very interesting to hear about um, Danjan Ravja's life and uh, some of the legends and myths associated with his life and also to hear that there was a museum down in Sainshan that had recently opened. So I, I said to myself, well, the next time I go down to Sainshan, uh, I will go visit the museum.